To your final resting place. <laughs> Keith, Keith has memorized <laughs> our uh, theme song. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is mind. Modern Art Blitz, our New Year's Day party. There's a big party going on here. In, in addition to, uh, but here, you got to hold that up right, to here. Hold this, baby. All right. So uh, this is uh, Keith Walsh. We have many guests here. This wild party is continuing. Uh, this is thing. our third hour of uh, just interviewing the uh, the best, boldest, and brightest of contemporary art. <laughs> Keith, what's your New Year's resolution? My New Year's res resolution is to be more of a bastard. More of a bastard. Yeah. So, uh, did you? What did you do last night for New Year's party? Uh, we had we had a small party. Um, Which, uh, I, we, and I appreciate we, I got an invite to it, but yeah, well, yeah. we had to stay home. It was so. good. No, we, we we danced. We danced to. It was interesting. Because the the music the music went from. It began with like Sal Sol Orchestra to kind of loosen up the crowd. And then eventually it, it, it got to uh, Stooges and, and Danish punk rock. So you it know, was a beautiful transition. You know, if it's not Danish punk rock, I question whether it's really punk rock at all. <laughs> well, actually, they were, they were doing these really great, great Devo covers. Devo? Yeah, Danish punk rock Devo colors. Sort of like Mongoloid, but, you know, you know. Um, but da made Danish. <laughs> Right, kept us in a swirl, you know. What's that Coen we Brothers movie? Right Where's the Dane? Where's the Dane? Where's Danes? the Dane? <laughs> the Dane? Nobody, no. The Danes don't get singled Dane. out anymore. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. What are you hiding? What? What are you hiding, Dane? What are you hiding, Dane? <laughs> oh, don't stash the microphone. That microphone, that's right. So hey, so what are your plans, uh, Keith? What are your plans for uh, 2017? Uh, 2017, um, you know, getting more shows, uh, getting uh, the work out there, work in the studio. Um, Releasing the new Keith Walsh Experience album, oh, the One Man Band album. Okay, you know, doing this and that and that. Looking forward to that. Yeah. So it, it, this this album is a very exotic album. It, it still rocks, but it has uh, some really interesting uh, uh, developments in the instrumentation. Okay. And things. Yeah. I'm waiting for that. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let me ask you this: What are your predictions for art in 2017? Well, my prediction for art in 2017 is that there's going to be a lot more politically oriented work that's going to emerge in relationship to our contemporary situation. Isn't being an artist a political act in and of itself? Yeah, and I think also when you don't want to make political work, it is a political act. Ah. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, staying out of the, you know, staying out of the race, you know? Ah. You know? Okay. Yeah. So. Zing, zing. <laughs> All right, well. All I can say is, let's see if your political prediction yeah, political for 2017 come true, you know? comes true. There's only one way to do that, and that's, that's to right. live through 2017. Yeah. Keith Walsh, right. thank, thank you, you very much. Happy New Year, man. Enjoy the party, All right. and uh, Happy All New right. Year. You too. You have to, you have to talk into the... Uh, okay, so Craig, uh, Craig, a great artist from Orange County. That's right. Yeah. Where'd you, where, where you grew up in? La Mirada. Woo! Hometown, baby. I grew up yeah. in La Mirada, too. That's right. That's hey, right. Um, so, so, so tell me, uh, New Year's resolution? New Year's resolution is to, to, get my paint, to get my painting done. I mean, I've been working on it for two years now. Wow. And I One got, painting? I've got to get it finished, yeah. One yeah. painting you want to finish. Yeah, you know, and it's been, it's been the kind of thing, too, where I was just talking to Vicky about the fact that I do stupid things when I get tired and I've been working on it too long. Recently, I actually poked a hole right through the thing. I got angry. Took the mall stick. Poking holes in art tends to that's what kind of what a critic's supposed to do. I'm 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 supposed to Or or guys poke the holes like Steve Wynn who have a lot of money that can Oh yeah, well, he yeah, can yeah, boom yeah. and get the okay, insurance yeah. settlement. Okay. Where am I supposed to be looking by the way, right? There's here? always that. Is this where I look? I'm trying to figure out where you look. Oh look we're looking at, we're looking at the, at this camera right here. See the oh, square, oh, just right. the square there? Oh yeah. That's okay. a camera. The oh, square wow. in the middle is hi. Ah, oh, all right, I see. Okay. So, um, so Craig, any predictions 
predictions. For the art of 2017, what, what is, where is art going in 2017? You know, I think one of the exciting things has been is that we are seeing a return to representational art, and I think we're just going to see that trend continue. You're not, you're not becoming an abstract painter anytime soon. Well, I do abstract. Really? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, let's, you know. Let's keep it, let's keep it uh, clean for the kids, okay? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So, 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 you, so, uh, representation is coming back. Um, well, it's it's back. I mean, in a big way. But I just see that trend continuing. You don't see any particular themes dominating in the in the coming year. Well, you know, I think you're going to still see the uh, the OTC, the over the couch. Oh, uh, it always looks uh, good over the couch. Yeah, it always it matches the the yellow of my kitchen, baby. Well, I got to tell you, Craig, it's always good seeing you. But I got to tell you, once again, best dressed guest. <laughs> Well, Love it. Well, thanks, man. Happy New Year. You too, buddy. You too. Thanks, man. Bye. Craig, it's great. You got to hold the microphone up. Oh, okay. Happy Hi. New Year. Happy New Year. Any New Year's resolutions? More painting. More painting. More drawing. More drawing. More socializing. More socializing. More love. More love? Yeah. Wow. Doesn't that sound great? Yeah. More resolutions. More resolutions. Nice. Yeah. Some people don't have any. You got a bunch. Oh, really? Got to oh. love it. So, uh, so tell us uh, in recap: Was 2016 a lousy year for you, or is a good year? Or tell me about it. Okay, so in recap, it's been a good year. It's been a good year um, creatively. I'm working on two series right now of paintings. It's been a good year professionally. It's been a good year in terms of my family. Yeah, yeah. It's been a good year. I'm I'm worried about the culture at large, but you know. Well. You're doing something about it, though. You're making great illustrative, painted tarot. Yes. What do we got here? Oh, oh, now this, oh, this is um, from the April Flores Tarot series. And this is number seven, eight in the series, The Chariot. And this is about choosing your way. And it's interesting because I sat on this one for a year before I could release it. Wow. I just, just within the last 48 hours, I've been able to release this painting into the wild, into the wild world. Um, and maybe it was about choosing my direction. Maybe it was about me choosing which way to go. Love it. And sometimes Love you it. have to accept the dark horse, the direction of the dark horse. So, so, um, so you're a big fan of the tarot? Yes, I am. But you're also a teacher, an educator. Yes, I am. Now, you're not allowed to educate the school kids on the tarot, are you? No. It's, well, you can talk about it historically. Historically? Historically, because it, it's part of our visual culture. Okay. And I'm an art teacher. Okay. And I teach about visual culture. Okay. And I teach about different belief systems. Okay. So, within that context, of course. Do you ever give a kid a tarot reading? No. No? Not one that I teach. Like, in the uh, public schools. Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean on Tinder. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. So, so, um, hey, so um, let me let me ask you this. I'm looking forward to 2017. Oh man, we just got over 2016. I Hell know. of a year. I know. You have any predictions for art? For art? art for art? It, I think there's going to be more performance. I more think performance. Th I think there's going to be more performance. I think it's going to be more political. I think it's going to be more graphic. Graphic? I think there's going to be more political cartoons. More political in, cartoons. Yes, in that kind of graph. I think it's I think there's gonna I think that art is going to be more political and it's going to be more graphic and more immediate. That's what I think. Gotta love it. Well that sounds like a fun year ahead. I know, it does. Anything mm -hmm. else? <sighs> Anything else you want to share with humanity? Love and kindness. Love and uh, kindness. What the world needs now. That's right. Vicki Barkley, thank you very much and thank you. Happy, New Year. happy New Year. Oh, and a shout out to Keith Dugas. What? Keith Dugas is not here, but a shout out to Keith Dugas. I heard he got sick. He's caretaking. A dog? Yeah, we, that's why we couldn't go to a party last night because of our dog. So I can relate. Keith, we love you. We love you. McGilligan, Patrick, you got to talk into this microphone. Okay. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Good, good, good. How's the show going so far today? So far, the show's going how much, great. How much money have you raised on this telethon? <laughs> you know what? I actually, I swear to God, I got the idea to do this as a telethon, and I couldn't. I was like, but I thought, what? Do I, but we, we, we'll do a telethon next year. 
Let's let's raise some money for a good cause. Well, drone box is a pretty good cause. I'm sure. I was thinking me, but you know. Oh whatever. well. Uh, so so Patrick. Yeah. Yeah, man. How was 2016 for you? It was a shit show. It was a shit show. It was a real shit show. Uh, you you get any action this year? Any dates? Do they still call it dates, or is it just straight hookup? I don't know what the kids are calling it these days. Well, you're one of the kids. In my book, you're one of the kids, because here I am, married, you know, the and then you, wild and free. We're the same age, Matt. I know we're the same age, but as far as uh, monogamy... I don't, I don't think I'm one of the kids. I'm in the, mon- I'm in the mono zone. You are in the... Yeah, I'm a, I'm a player. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what'd you do for New Year's Eve? Uh, I was in bed by about 8.30. No, really? I woke up around you, midnight. Are you a fucking like a, morning person? Sounded like a... Fuck, no. no what were you was, doing at 8 o'clock? Did you pass out? I was taking a nap. I woke up before midnight. And okay, I, so you I, woke up before midnight? You heard the firecrackers I tried to distinguish the firecrackers from the gunshots oh, yeah. in my neighborhood. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was fun. Not always the time. easiest thing to do. Yeah. And, uh, and then I read until about 4 o'clock in the morning. And then I woke up, had some coffee, took another nap, and uh, what's the coffee up, for? But a nap. Took a shower, put on I, these lovely clothes. Gotta say, who dresses you? It's just me. God I'm, dang. I'm all I got. So, so how's, how's this year been for you? 2017. Yeah. No. Well, 2017 2016. so far. The that first. Was 2016. 2016? Um, For you, personally. You no, know, it was all right. It was all right. I mean, it, was, it wasn't oh, the right. best year I ever had, but it wasn't the worst year. We had some, some big, um, you know, some big highlights. And, um, you know, I mean, I, I don't, there weren't really, there, weren't, there were no tragedies, thank, thankfully. I'd like that to continue. So what's, what's the next big trend in the art world, Matt? The next big trend in the art world, um, I believe, uh, I, you know, I, I got to tell you something. Uh, the problem with the art world is uh, it's so hooked into the Dow Jones and the, uh, the economy. Mm-hmm. So I, I would need you to tell me what the um, economy is going to look like. And I could definitely tell you what the art world is going to look like. I could tell you that, you know, a few things I think is that, that uh, uh, are, 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 you think something, but then, you know, if the economy crashes, none of that's going to come true. You know, I, I was just looking back the other day about, about reading, like I wrote, I read something last night that I wrote on a blog at the end of 2008, and I talked about how the economy was so terrible in 2008, and it was going to be worse in 2009, which it was, and how it decimated the art world, and, and uh, you know, so I would hope that doesn't happen. So I should keep my prices low, is what you're telling me. Mm, you know, it's a funny business. I think our, when, when you price your art, you should always pay attention to inflation. Yeah, okay. you really should follow because inflation, it will, it will certainly, art will always follow inflation. Art will always follow inflation. Do you, do you um, have any New Year's resolutions? Not a one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to live through it. That's, that's pretty bad. That's not, me. that's not so much a resolution as just, you know, a hope. Maybe. Fingers crossed, ladies and gentlemen. I get through it. To get Patrick to McGilligan. Did you already give a shout out to Keith? Keith Dugas? Oh, yeah, we gave a big shout out to Keith Dugas. Yeah. Hi, Keith. Hi, Keith. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I'm sorry. Hi, Keith. You hall Dad's monitor dead. you. <laughs> All right, here you go. Happy New Year, Patrick. Happy New Year, Matt. You got to hold that up to your mouth and uh, answer my lovely yeah. questions. So, hey, you got a new pair of glasses. Yes, I have new glasses. Where'd you get them? I got them at. Close, close. Lens. I got them at Lens Crafters. Lens Crafters in about an hour? No, it was kind of miserable, but very expensive. I, I found, after I bought them, I found a cheaper place, and it was already too late. But, oh, I, I found a place, Zenny Optical. Zenny? Oh, yeah, Zenny. Because I kind of like, it's well, online. Your, your are retro. You All my retro. shit's Zenny. Zenny? Oh, yeah. I'm nice. a big, a big, best thing I learned in 2016, and Greg Escalani was here earlier, I didn't thank him, was he told me about Zenny Optical. So, um, oh, look, you have the gun up. That's, that's your gun, and it's pointing at you. <laughs> yeah. So, so, uh, so uh, Rick, uh, how was your uh, 2016, and what are you looking forward to in 2017? I might do things that are against the law, so in seven years you'll know what happened. <laughs> but we'll see. What's your, Other uh, things I could probably do, because they're not quite as illegal. What's your res- New Year's resolution? Uh, I, don't, I usually don't make any. 
You don't make any? Not really, no. Kind just of a try smart not to way die. to go. Just no, don't die. Nope, not dying. Yes. You, you can do that many years consistently, and then all of a sudden, and ah, then all of a sudden it. you're dead. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so I've just so, tried not uh, to die. So what did you do for New Year's last night? Uh, me and Susie stayed home and uh, did things. Okay. Okay. We, it was fun. We had fun actually. Naked Twister. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> how is Susie? She's good. You didn't bring her. No, she was. Uh, she just had other prior commitments. You know, it's, and 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 this is uh, New Year's Day, 2017. It's a Sunday, so the Rose Parade is not going on. So we're not competing with the Rose Parade. You're I think kidding. We're competing with a lot of uh, football games. Though. I thought the Rose Parade was. It's 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 on when New Year's Day is on a Sunday. It's on January 2nd. The Rose Parade is going to be tomorrow. Oh, oh! By the way, Happy New Perihelion. What? Happy New Perihelion. What's new? What's New Perihelion? It's. January second, the closest or the closest in orbit to the sun. Oh, oh January the Earth is 2nd. actually the closest to the sun, which you would think would make it hot, but actually it makes is it, it colder because the axis. because the axis, the the solar rays are more That's dispersed. Correct. Yes. So I've been I've been experimenting with Christmas and uh, New Year's cards. It would be uh, Merry Winter Solstice and Happy New Perihelion, because those days more or less are the the solstice. Always the 20th and 21st. Right. And the perihelion, you're saying January 1st, 2nd? It's usually 1st or 2nd. Nice. They, they, well, there's a wobble and variations. In the oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, kinds, that's, well, uh, you ought to know all Well, that, you know, in, right? in, in addition to Modern Art Blitz, on Sundays at 5, we have the Astrology Star Blitz uh, Wednesdays at right. midnight. So, um, so do you have any big plans for uh, 2017? Do you have any, any shows coming up? No, no shows. I've got a... I did get some... Um, Donald Trump Chia Pets. So they're going to be new for 2017. You're making Donald Trump Chia Pets? No, they do exist. Oh, they I'm exist. Going to modify. Some. Oh, you're going to be making some art modifying a Donald well, Trump Chia Pet. Oh, you've seen the figurine pet. series. Wow, wow, wow. It's just a Chia Pet figurine of Trump. A Gimp Trump. Nice. That's what wow. you can look forward to. Cool. Yeah, All right. I'll try and get it done this month. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, yeah. no, there's no pressure. The 20th. The last couple of days of Obama here. What are we, we, we yeah, going to do? Yeah, so. I need to do it roughly to you know when it when it comes up. Okay, you know we're talking about this with a gun in the thing. I don't want to. I don't want any investigations here. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a that's a. Um, it was a project that I couldn't get to work for years, and I finally found the circuit, and I finally was able to piece it together. It starts with a cordless drill. I used the body, the trigger, and the battery, and then it's hooked up to an automotive coil. That spark is somewhere around forty to fifty thousand volts. Yikes! It's okay. very dangerous. Okay. 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 Um. Well, with that in mind, have a dangerous New Year. Have, <laughs> have a high voltage New Year, Rick Ankrum. Thank thanks for joining us. Happy New Year, man. Happy New Year. Good morning. And uh, what did you do for New Year's Eve? I uh, stayed Ta home and uh, spent a silent night. As it were on Christmas. That's what. Yeah, that's, you're a week late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we hey, go. Um, do you have any resolutions? I don't. You don't do New Year's no, resolutions. No resolutions. No. Made to be broken. Made to be broken. They don't last more than a month. So, uh, do you have any uh, plans for 2017? Have you made plans? You traveling anywhere? You just got. You just got back though, right? You just. You just went and visited. Uh, uh, yeah, I just uh, visited Houston for about three weeks. That's where you're from. That's where I'm from originally. It was good. It was good. Uh, I was afraid after this uh, this Trump win, everything was been going to be racially bigoted and racist. But it was pretty, it, still pretty it chill. It turns out Houston's a blue city. Oh, so it is. So this is the kind of place where, like, hey, man, if they don't want you somewhere, just come over here, live with us. Really? Yeah. That kind of town. Yeah. That's no, cool. it was. It was. Yeah. It was. It was How long have you been in Southern California now? Uh, probably about. 13 years, I'd say. Oh, okay. 12 or 13 years. What was the best New Year's Eve you ever had in, in L.A.? Uh, none, really, because I don't really you don't do on it. New Year's. You don't you do know? New Year's. Amateur night. This is the most. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's amateur night. All right. So this is the most I've done. Let's get down to the real serious stuff. Okay. Jack Daniels or Johnny Walker? Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker black or Johnny Walker blue? Johnny Walker Black. I've heard most of them taste about the same. Well, yeah, blue. Johnny I think Walker it's a, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. the markup is just, just markup. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. You're out of whiskey. What's your go-to booze? Um, certain good tequila. 
Ah, good Sir, tequila. Good tequila. All right. Certain. All right. I'm All not right. a tequila fan, but. And um, any predictions for art in 2017? I really don't have any predictions for no art. Predictions. I'm not sure what to think about anything at this point. Um, but no, no predictions for art. That's where I kind of fall short on words. <laughs> I like an artist to make great art, regardless of how articulate, uh, how verbal. The verbal can so get in the way. We're looking at an artwork of yours here yes. now, and a verbal person could probably go on and on and on, and you could probably, in two words, say more than they would, but I think the picture says it all. Um, and is this yeah. oil paint, acrylic paint? It is uh, enamel. Enamel. House paint, I enamel guess. Enamel house paint. Picasso used house paint. Okay. And Alex Arispe uses, uses house, house paint, paint too. Alex, How do you like it? thanks for joining us. Thank you very much, man. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, brother. Woo! Oh, that oh, one's mine. I'm thinking. Oh. I'm taking yours. Yeah. I got mine. Here, you have to talk into the microphone today. Oh, Happy New Year, Matt. Happy New Year to you. How's How you doing? doing? I'm doing good. I'm happy to be here. What a nice little party. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, did you uh, did you have a nice New Year's Eve party? I didn't. I was. It was very quiet. We went out to an early dinner and hung out at home. Oh really? Yeah. Where where'd you have dinner? A uh, little place in. Pasadena called Bijou, Cafe oh, okay. Bijou. Yeah, 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 good. yeah, very good. It was. I've, a great... I've gone by there, but I've never gone in there. Really good? nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Crowded. So it was crowded. We, was it... we were lucky. We didn't have reservations, but they gave us seat. We did they? Kind of... Did they have one of those pre-fix menus? They did, which we didn't eat off. Oh, of. you didn't do the. Pre oh, you did. They still allowed you because some places yes. they just do the prefix and yeah. you're out. You know, but no, they, we could order as as we pleased. We did a prefix on Christmas Eve. Oh, nice. Oh no, Christmas Day. Christmas Day, we went out the night of Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. Christmas night. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. It's late in after the sunset on December 25th. My wife and I, we went to a family thing, but the food there was not going to sustain us. So, so we had made <laughs> reservations, and they had a prefix menu, and it was very, very oh, good. Oh, nice. So, so I'm, I'm, all, I'm all about. Yeah. Just, yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm kind of the quiet style. You know, celebration. Not. Not the nope. big party. And then you came person. to this big party. Well. This is this is special. This is really oh, nice. Uh, yeah, you got all your leftover food. My God, we're gonna have some leftover licorice yeah. sticks. That's for sure. Yeah. Hey, so uh, so tell me, uh, what do you have any New Year's resolutions? Um, probably the resolution I have every year, which is to work harder, make more work, and make better work. Wow, wow, wow. And of course, this year is really kind of a scary year with the Trump years coming, and I kind yeah, of feel very, yeah. you know. Feeling really alert to it and ready to, you know. A numerologist just pointed out, and actually not, num num not numerology, but um, a mathematician pointed out that 2017 is a prime number. Oh, really? Not, I don't well, know what that means, but here we are. Well, it means something, something different is going to happen. Now, do you have any predictions about where art is going in 2017? Uh, you know, I have a feeling, a, a deep feeling that it's going to be a really good art year. Really? I do, I do. And, I, and I'm, not saying, I'm not saying as far as finances and stuff, but I mean as far as the creativity and the draw to yeah. put out some really good work. Um, it's going to happen, I think, this year for a lot of people. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. You showing anywhere? Right now, no. I'm working You're hard in the, in the studio? studio. I'm in the studio I'm producing a lot studio. of new work. Yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. you, didn't have to, you didn't have to go far. We're, you know, <laughs> here in Boyle Heights, right? Yeah. You could have walked here, right? I could have just about. Did, yeah. you, now, did you ever come here when it was the Monterey Theater? No, I don't think so. Although I may have, because you know we were we lived in El Sereno. My father oh, would take us to the Serino. Whittier okay. Theater uh, okay. and all this area. So did we, you ever go to Whitwood? You know, we probably you did. Remember the did you ever, okay, you, you know, if you went to see the theater, if you went to see movies in, in Whittier, did you ever go to Farrell's? Um, I don't Farrell, know. The Whitwood had a they had a they had a, a big theater, and then they had a, a Farrell's next to it. Really? Yeah. You know, no, most likely we didn't. Thinking about my father, he was kind of my, my uh -oh, dad wasn't uh -oh. one of those. We can buy ice cream and take it home, <laughs> yeah, right? We can it. buy ice cream at thr yeah. Thrifties, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. Take us okay. to Thrifties and buy the ice cream there. Nicholas Scoop can't <laughs> argue with that, Dad. <laughs> that was so, my father. All right. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Linda Ariola, thanks thank for joining you. us. Thank you. Thank you for uh, inviting me to the party. Oh, I'm glad, you, glad you're having a good time. Happy New Year, and go tell that rowdy crowd to mellow out. So where's uh, where's everybody? Okay, okay, they're all out smoking pot. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, for the next 15 minutes, you will be serenaded by the great drumming of the one and only maddest cartoonist in Southern California, hiding behind the shadow of his own symbol there, Jim Karen.
Did Pat show you the text? No. Pat, Patrick. Max, Max, the line. 